What is going on, everybody? I am back today to talk about another found footage horror movie. And this is one that I could not remember whether or not I've watched originally, but I do know that I've seen the American remake, which at the time period it was released, I was working at a movie theater. I don't remember much about the American remake at all, other than at the time I watched it because it starred Jennifer Carpenter, who was in Dexter, which is like one of my favorite shows of all time. And I don't remember much about that movie, but I've heard nothing but incredible things about the original and how many people love this movie and say that it's one of the best found footage movies ever made. And so because of that, I wanted to jump on board and watch it immediately. And the movie I'm going to be talking about with you today is Wreck. Wreck is directed by Jaime Balaguero and Paco Plaza. A television reporter and a cameraman follow emergency workers into a dark apartment building and are quickly locked inside with something terrifying. So I was really excited to watch this movie because of all the incredible things that I've heard about it. And this movie is phenomenal. This is easily one of the best found footage movies I've seen. It is fantastic. It feels hyper-realistic. It's truly horrifying. It's at less than an hour and 20 minute runtime, and I feel like it is incredibly effective. The movie feels mostly practical. All of the effects and the blood and the gore all feel very realistic. If I was going to describe this movie in one word, it's chaotic. This movie is chaotic and uncomfortable, and it honestly made me feel sick multiple times, which I commend the directors of this movie because it takes a lot to pull a very, very visceral reaction out of me. And there were a couple of moments that it, I felt like I forgot I was watching a movie. It felt like real people in peril, which is just fantastic on the director's part. And I'm really excited to talk about this movie with you today. So at the beginning of the film, we are introduced to Angela, who is is a television reporter that is doing a segment for the this news channel she works on where I think they go and interview people who work at nighttime and that evening they're interviewing these firefighters and we see her at the fire station she's talking to all the people and socializing with them and she's going to follow these two firefighters on their nightly routine and so they end up getting a call it's a non-emergency call they go to this building that has a few different apartments in it and they get there and they go inside and they find out that there's an old woman who's having some issues in one of the apartments, which is why it wasn't an, em an emergency that they had to run to. They were just going to check on this woman. So they go in there with some police. They get up into the apartment and the woman is acting very strange. And one of the officers approaches her and she lunges at him and bites her on the neck. And everyone freaks out. All of the people in the apartment start losing it. And they get down to the ground floor. And when they get down to the ground floor, they realize the door has been locked behind them. These tarps have been put up and they have been quarantined and they are being told through the door that something has happened and an infection has spread inside and that they are not going to be allowed out until someone comes in and tests their blood and make sure that everything's okay. So the entirety of the film is this news crew and all of the people inside trying to figure out what is this infection? What is really going on? And are they ever going to be able to escape? So like I said, this movie is exceptional. I loved it. I felt truly terrified by it. For starters, the performances here are great. All of the people that live in the apartment building feel very real. Uh, they feel like human beings, which I really like. There's like an old couple in there when they're being interviewed. Just like the way they deliver dialogue, it feels like people naturally reacting to this circumstance. And I like that. I feel like if you're going to make a movie feel realistic and feel grounded, that you want to cast people that are going to feel like actual human beings. And like I said, I got lost in this multiple times because I, it felt like I wasn't watching a movie anymore, which is very, very impressive. I love the setting of this apartment building. You get enough of it to where you know where you are when they revisit areas. So you kind of understand the space and how wide the building is, but also how confined you are and how there's only so many different places that you can hide. Whenever these people people turn into whatever this might be. I love it so much. They they look horrifying. You just get enough glimpses into them to where all the makeup and the practicality of it looks fantastic. And it's horrifying because no one knows the scope of what is going on. So it's like, if you shoot them, are you going to be okay? If you hit them, knock them down, like what's going to happen? You don't really know what's going on. And I like that you're left questioning throughout the movie. What could this possibly be? Because 
through media we see early on you would com you would assume zombies but as the film goes on that's not necessarily the case which is what i liked about this movie it kind of subverts your expectations from media that you've already viewed in the past and spins it on its head completely i really like the dynamics of the people who live in the apartment as well there's little things introduced there's an interesting kind of exploration towards racism in this movie where you see an Asian family that lives in this apartment complex and one of the guy who lives there makes some really kind of awful comments about them and like immediately wants to accuse them of spreading whatever the disease is solely because they look different than everyone else there and they're from somewhere else and like makes a comment about their cooking and like how their apartment always smells and it was really interesting because it got me thinking back to the pandemic and through COVID and how horrible Asian people in the United States of America were treated during the pandemic and the blame that was placed on Asian people and it was just really fascinating to see that social commentary included in a film this time period and how it translates over to modern day and things that we see and I mean racism is prevalent in so many different situations but I liked how you have that small bit of social commentary and then like these elderly people in the building and how they're reacting compared to some of the younger people there's a young child that's going through some sort of sickness and the way people kind of perceive the child and like oh because it's a kid this could never happen to them but it's like no that child is still a human being they can be infected they can deal with the same things that adults do and it creates this sense of claustrophobia and tension and questioning every decision that every person's making that it just leaves you uneasy because all of the people in in charge whether that's the policemen or the firefighters they're trying to react to the best of their ability but they also have no idea what's going on which makes it all the more stressful for them which makes the movie so much more uncomfortable to watch and leaves you on the edge of your seat i love the way this ramps up into the third act when you slowly start to learn more information about what's going on it's fascinating and i don't really want to ruin it in case you've never seen it before and i really like where the directors went with this movie and i just had a blast with this i think this is exactly what found footage is supposed to be it feels real it feels authentic there is a reason for the person to continue filming because they're trying to get this information out to the public whatever it is because clearly it's being hidden from them they don't want people to know and so i like that element of the movie and it's just a total blast and I think if you're into the found footage genre or even if you're not watch this movie because it might make you a fan of the genre so have you seen Wreck did you love it did you hate it leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought I thought this movie was awesome and I'm already looking forward to revisiting it as always if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future and as always everyone thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day